Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. Yeah, see what you started? He's so loud. He's so loud. Listen, I gotta pull the truck through. You stay there. Stay. Nah, nah. Stay. 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 Yeah, I've seen you run, so we can't have you getting out. No. No. Excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me, you're very pretty. Morning, everybody. Chad at the farms. Lady A. <laughs> Ready to eat, I guess. Whew. It is 44 degrees. That's a little bit chilly, so Adler will probably stay inside the truck. But it's also 8.30, which is a little bit later start than we normally get. But it rained last night. I wanted to get off of this fishing one. Get off the fishing game? Yeah. How much rain we got last night? We got there. Wow. Did it grow? Oh, it's not growing yet. But we did have a good day of sunshine and then a good heavy rain. So that's perfect. Can we roll it up? The cold? Got it. So we, after a long summer of hardly any rain, like at all, like they said all summer long, in case you're new here, they said that Oklahoma, North, at least Northeast Oklahoma, dust bowl conditions. I mean, it literally didn't rain from like June 11th to almost the middle of August, any kind of measurable amount. Looks like I did a pretty good job. Looks like we did a pretty good job making sure we didn't throw seed where grass won't grow. Cause we do have some low spots out in the pasture. I'll show you guys here in a second. I'm trying to, I got to keep the truck moving cause we're off the path. We don't want to tear up the, we don't want to tear up anything, any grass or anything. But if I get back on the driveway, it'll be just fine. Ooh. Daddy, I know how to play this game. You know how to play it? Yeah, I know how to play it. Okay. And it looks like one of the girls turned the hydrant on. That's awesome. So the water's been running for silly girls. I'm going to go fix the hydrant. And I'm gonna feed the cows. Do it, get them. Get them. Oh, we missed them. A little higher. Oh, right in the schnoz. <laughs> oh, he's down. That a boy. Oh, we we'll get this guy. Whoa. He's big. It's a big old buzzard. You better get him. He'll eat our chickens. All right, I'm gonna go feed. You sit right here, okay? If you need anything, what do you do? Honk the horn. That's right. Man, how'd she, uh, how'd she do that? There was a, I've got like U-bolts in these things, but the U-bolt's gone. I don't know what she did with it. Thankfully though, where's the bucket? Cause they're gonna be all over me here in a second. Thankfully she didn't turn the handle all the way up. So the water wasn't running. If it was running, this would have been... Goodness, Chad. If the water had been running, a lot of our uh, base rock right here would have been washed away. So, that's good. Hey, where's the bucket? You know where the bucket's at? I know, I need the bucket. So, Sometimes, believe it or not, they do. Oh, it's right here, which could only be there if I did it. So, never mind. Sorry. All right. You guys have really helped me with what to feed and when to feed and how much to feed and all that stuff. So, I wanted to show you. If you remember in the last video, we picked up some cubes. Well, they're not cubes. They're actually like what's in a cube. Like they don't they don't make them like this. They're made to be fit in a feed bin. They have the or they have they have a cotton cotton seed husk. A couple of you guys knew down in the comments, but anyway, that cotton seed or that 
whatever, it's full of fiber and it keeps them from having to eat as much hay. If we can feed them a little bit of what is Adler's honking. You guys hear that? It's a dangerous time to honk because we can't stop. All right. He was honking the horn because he had a, needed a pee break. Got that taken care of. He's back in there bundled up. I went ahead and threw on a hoodie because it's a little bit cooler than a little bit cooler than I thought it was. What's up, big boy? So anyway, you guys have really helped us with what to feed. And as far as the cubes go, they still get them. She does. She's trying to open that lid. They still get the cubes. And they get a third of a bag a day. Is that right? Yeah, a third of a bag a day. If you can keep the donkeys out of it, is what Mr. Gary Walker advised us to do. Let's pour this safely before they get in here. And, oh, who did that? I knew it. I knew it. Lucy. Hey, I know what happened. How'd that lid come off of there? Huh? Are there some bite marks on that? I bet you there are. I bet you there's bite marks on that trash can lid. Any idea who did it? Any idea? I might need a couple more holes in this thing. There's that. Put some cubes in there. Follow your brother. Follow your brother. Come on, girls. They know, they'll come around here. I gotta stay here though and keep this guy out. Yeah, sure do. Come on, girls. Woo! She'll run them off, but she'll find them over there in a second. All right. <laughs> Boy, you're gonna be the thumbnail in every video. If you're not careful, be the last thumbnail there, brother. Oh my goodness, man. I cannot believe they got this open. I mean, look at all the traffic right here. Goodness. It was, man. Hang on. Uh-oh. Yep. Well, we might lose some of this to moisture, but that's okay. Let's get these guys. Go. Watch out. Bruce. My goodness. Ladies. I'll get you guys some. However, I think everybody's had plenty to eat. Huh? All right, you guys. Lucy, come here. Woo! There we go. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. That was all, oh my goodness. I just got this, that one's full. Who knows how much they ate out of there. And then of course, you get here this morning and they've clearly had plenty to eat, but they act like they're starving. Yep, dims are teeth marks. Mm-hmm. Dims are teeth marks. What we'll probably have to do, oh yeah, she even busted that. What we'll probably have to do. Hey, Bruce, I'd uh, I'd get out of there, bro. Come here. Bruce. Bruce. Woo! That works, too. Well, what I'll do is move the red barrels inside this far end here. And we can close it off at night. Because I don't want to put them in the big pen, because that's how I feed. I don't want to be in there with the feed. 
and then open the gate and let them in. But maybe it would work though. Maybe if I got to the pin before them, cause like I can always just climb over. So if I got to the pin before they did, I could easily, uh, yeah, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that. Bruce is eating by the way. He's, he's okay. He licked his wounds. He's over there eating. What do you think Bubba? Hmm? Did you open it? You may have helped. I don't know, man. I don't know. So this will be for the alpacas. Oh, that's cute. That's cute, little donk. That's cute, brother. There's a what? A fog? There's, There's a, a fog? No, a boss. Oh, a boss. Oh, did you beat him? Yeah, yeah, but the boss had a, had a, a big soul or, or they had spikes on it. Whoa. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It was gigantic. Gigantic. Did you get him though? Yeah, I did. All right. Hey, who's that green dinosaur back there? It's Dale. It's Dale. You like Dale? He's your buddy. Daryl. Daryl. Sorry, Dale. Wait, be quiet. He's asleep? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, you keep beating the boss. What are you trying I, to do? I already beat the boss. There we go, there you All right, go. let me go take care of the chickens. Leave this window down for a minute. Let that hot air get out. I know, I'm sorry. It's not always alpacas last. I feel like we did a pretty good job throwing seed and then we had an amazing day of some sunshine like all day yesterday it was sunny and it started raining about midnight last night thank you cowboy and that's where all this moisture and water came from excuse me ma'am they're still sleeping up here it's driving me nuts hello sorry And one of y'all actually messaged me and said that your chickens eat their chicken eggs and they always have. And some of you crush them up, some of them you don't. But you said your chicken eggs are some of the hardest shells. And I'm telling you, if you feed your chickens their own eggs, feed them out here, don't feed them in there. Their shells will be harder. And it's almost like feeding them oyster shells. There, let's see. Lucy opened that gate. My goodness, Lucy. I know you did it. I know you did it. You know you did it. That's why you're running. You know. My goodness. All right. Well, let's make sure they got a majority of whatever they needed. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's all right, easy sister. Back to the egg thing. I have been feeding my chickens. We've had chickens for like eight years. I've only been on YouTube for three next month. YouTube and Facebook. I've never had a chicken deliberately crack its egg ever. We've never had that problem. My dad will vouch for that. Um, the only thing is, is they come to expect it. It's like part of their food. It works, man. Now, you know, you got to keep your eggs collected, okay? I, we collect our eggs. I don't let them sit. We don't let them, you know, we go on vacation or something. Somebody comes and collects eggs and feeds the animals, usually grandpa. If you get them out of there, you can always feed them one or two, and then you don't have to buy oyster shells. It'll keep their eggs nice and strong. And if that doesn't speak for it, my Aunt Rochelle, everybody tell Rochelle howdy. My Aunt Rochelle, we gave her, my dad and I gave her some eggs to make deviled eggs for Thanksgiving for the big family shindig this year. And bless her heart, she said peeling those eggs were some of the most difficult eggs she's ever peeled compared to store-bought, like by far. Now, a lot of that, from what I understand, I've never made deviled eggs, but I guess the more fresh the egg is, the more difficult it is to peel the shell. If any of you guys or gals have tips out there about how to use 
farm fresh eggs without them sitting on the counter for you know four months let us know and we'll make sure aunt rochelle I, i'm pretty sure she sees this i know uncle lee does that's my dad's brother you've seen him in a video over on grandpa's channel or you saw a picture of him picture or video one of the two anyway let us know down in the comments i want to show you guys something real quick yeah he's not i got this i got this video yesterday morning though wait till you see this This bird is protected and he is a migratory fowl, so you can't shoot him. Now there's no fish in here. Not that I would want to shoot him, but I'm saying he's not a duck that you can hunt. He's not even technically a duck. It's called a pied billed grebe. Here's a picture. And that's owned by like All Out Birds or All About Birds or something like that. I'm gonna put the description, I'm, I'm linking the credit to the photo right below. That pied billed grebe was here back in may and i looked it up and it said he'll be back basically before it gets cold on his route so back in may when we saw him he was coming from this direction from the south to here because we had warmer temperatures this way he was able to live further north but now he's flying south technically southwest and we're on his path even though we've redone the pond we're on his path they will eat your fish so I got to talk to the game warden about what to do. Now, they eat small fish. They're not going to eat your, you know, largemouth bass, your huge bluegill. Um, they're not going to destroy your pond, but you don't want probably 10 or 15 of them. And if we're just on his route, I think he's really pretty. And he actually lets me get pretty close with the drone, which I'll link down below. We also, what'll be interesting too, we had a pair of geese that mated and laid eggs on the peninsula. And of course, now the peninsula is gone. So I'm interested in seeing how that plays out if they return this year or not. You okay? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna walk down there where we threw seed and show them some of the puddles, okay? You wanna sit right here? You mean the biggest puddle ever? Yeah, I'm gonna show them some of the rain where we threw the seed, is that okay? Deal? Uh, oh, you zombies. <laughs> zombies. So we're going to stay. These are my tire tracks from this morning. We're going to try and stay over here where there's some grass and some structure. Or I should say, nothing's been dozed over here. So this grass over here should be pretty solid. Versus walking on that where we buried that watchtower and the concession stand. That's all still very loose dirt i really wish something would grow over there which we did we put rye over there a long time ago like back in june some rye and fescue but then the drought hit and it never took i could have should have and needed to water it but i didn't so this is what it is there's this lick tub mineral tub whatever you want to call it they're doing a pretty good job with it it's about halfway gone i think it's been out here two weeks maybe three which that's a nice thing about videoing what you do. I can go back and look at the video where I first put that out here. But there's like baked and pressed or baked and poured or something like that. And I guess one lasts longer than the other. And this is the one that doesn't last as long. But that is a lot of water. I will say this though, let me show you. As you guys know, we're not gonna let the cows or any of the animals for that matter, but the cows, we're not gonna let them in the pond once it's done. They don't get in there right now because it's stinking cold. But we are gonna fence around the pond, fence around the cabin. Hang on, how do I do this without sinking? I think what I'm gonna do is dig, I know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna dig a, uh, like a wading pond back here, maybe only like a foot deep. And I'm gonna run a pump from the pond to this little hole back here like through the summer, we can keep it full and uh, that'll give them something to get in and get cool in. And that way we're not worried about them fouling it up. Like it'll just be a pond that they can just walk into, maybe like a 20 by 12, just something they can take a dip in, wet their bellies, that'll be all right. It's not too bad back here, but it definitely rained. So there is a lot of water, but remember, this is uh, 
almost 10 acres back here. So I see far more land than I do water, despite how it looks on camera. But right there, there was actually a really, really high spot when Jared was out here dozing and moving earth for us. And he knocked that high spot down and spread the dirt out left to right. He took it down so far that that's actually lower now, which is totally okay. Because what I want to do is run a cross fence from just the other side of the dam, right along here, probably just this side of that telephone pole, and make this a pasture. It's 660 feet wide. I'm not sure how deep that'll be by the time we're done. Then we can dig that down. I can either run a mini X or I'm highly confident my tractor will do it just because we're not trying to go down too far. And it's probably already eight to 10 inches. So if anything, I could just use my box blade and pull some dirt up to it and kind of make a berm. But what we also got to do is get some really good grass to grow around that to hold that water. There's not going to be anything growing yet. It takes five to six days. That's, you know, fingers crossed and prayers prayed that it actually takes. Um, now, again, we're not trying to grow next year's grass. That'll come in like, you know, February, March, depending on when it warms up. That rye and some fescue could grow right now, given the right conditions. So we're just trying it. If it doesn't, that's okay. We'll sit tight. But I wouldn't complain if some of it came up. Adler? <laughs> what are you doing? There's Daryl. Good old Daryl. What game are you playing? Show me. Woo, wormy, wormy. Look out. Well, listen, don't, 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 no. No spitting around me. You guys spit at yourselves. I can feel it coming. They're going to nail me. Let's see if you guys ate all your food this time. That's what I'm interested in. I've tried two scoops, and I've tried a scoop and a half. So we'll see if they ate that scoop and a half better. Oh yeah. Hey, y'all ate much better. Hang on, I gotta show them before I dump it. Lo siento. So I'd say a scoop and a half seems to be like the magic number. The magic serving. Here, here, woo! -hoo. Rosie, come here. Oh my goodness, you guys are silly. Y'all are silly. Man, this has worked out great. So you guys are right. If I put it over there, Bruce can use the wall to balance himself. If I do it right here, he can't. So this has been the perfect spot. Oh, and one of you guys mentioned too, which we may do. I've actually seen this done on other channels and for other animals, not just alpacas. But I thought about putting some base rock right here. Like uh, put another two by four there, like almost like a footing or like a footing uh, oh, forms, like you're going to pour concrete, but put base rock in it. That way, when they step up here, it trims their hooves a little bit. So, anyway, we'll see. I'm not too worried about it. Tana, what do you think of this? You happy that goat's out of here? Rosie, what do you think, honey? What do you think? Hey, I know you got enough to eat. I know you did. Yep. I'm just up here begging. Your brother found the hay. Head over there. So this, I don't know if the camera will pick this up or not. Where's a good, look at this edge. What in the world was up here? There's a low spot and this is every bit of like 50 feet long and 20 feet deep, probably 18 inches down. And it does hold water in the rainy season, but I really like to fill that because any animal sprinting across here, that can't be too, uh, can't be too good. Look at him stare at those alpacas. Like he's some kind of guard dog. Woo! What are you doing? Huh? I love this tractor. Love it. Could not be more impressed. It's under a tarp right now. We're still working on a plan or an idea 
if we're getting it under a roof, you know, more, I don't want to say permanently, but something that can actually protect it. Before any of us bought our cars or trucks, mowers, four wheelers, almost every piece of equipment sits outside until you buy it. And then people put them in their garage and they're like, now nah, it's okay. Well, it's, like, I mean, it's almost like, it almost sounds like a salesman or a dealer gimmick, like come save it. It's going to get wet. But I've just got, what's a, uh, it's a tractor cover and it just covers the seat and the hood where the engine is and air filter and all that good stuff. But like the hydraulics and the loader arm and stuff like that, I'm not. So some of you guys have sent me emails, which I greatly appreciate. Here, we can actually open this. And you've told me we need to stock up on feed just in case something happens in the winter. And we've got one, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then there's four out here already. And each one of those barrels holds about 330 pounds of whatever you want to put in it, whether it's that, whether it's grain, like a 12% or whether um, it's that 14% fiber or it's 20% cubes, each one. What's the matter? He just growled at me. <laughs> the internet's not working. Do you know why? Why? What game is this? It's that's that's whole. Just play worm for a second. I don't want to. Well, just play just play worm for a minute, and then Daddy will get back in the truck, and you'll have internet. It's working. All right. So he's actually tethered to my iPhone. So when I walk away, he loses internet. <laughs> so I better stay next to the truck. We've already got four barrels out here six in the trailer i can always get more that's 3330 pounds of any kind of feed we want and we've also got hay of course down just a couple miles that way we've actually got a feed store that sells those red barrels and they're only like 20 30 bucks a piece we bought 10 of them like right when we closed on the property couldn't be more happy with them uh, they hold up they're not donkey proof but they do hold up they are watertight they have a rubber gasket those have already like worn out on us. I don't know what happened. You can disregard that. It'll still keep your food warm, especially if you're keeping it inside. Now, can mice get through it? Sure, I don't know. I mean, you know, where do you draw the line on what's mouse proof and what's not? But anyway, they are on Amazon, but they're like a hundred bucks a barrel. I mean, that's insane, but they will show up at your door if you really want one. And is to stock up on feed. I can't take them in the trailer because when they fill the buckets, it's almost gotta be truck height high and the truck works perfect for like, I think six barrels at a time, but that winds up being almost 2,500 pounds in the bed of the truck. I'm not saying it's not safe. I'd rather just do like, you know, four barrels at a time or maybe even three, but the feed store is on our way in and out of town. So it's no big deal to just grab three buckets and fill them up and do it a couple times a week and make sure we have enough. This is it for now. This is what's going on. This is life. Is that gray or fuzz? It's fuzz, definitely fuzz, it's always. Fuzz. A couple others of you guys have asked about if the animals are using their shelter and then I tell you it rained a ton and you could see that the donkeys were covered in last night's rain. So were the highlands, so were the steers. It just is what it is. I mean we built them a shelter. If they use it, awesome. If they don't, I can't make them use it. So Kind of feel like this is a big update video and there's nothing wrong with that but i wanted to report we do have some 20 to 25 degree temperatures coming at the end of the week but there's no snow at this point i know they're calling for some but it's not going to hit us from what we can tell see this water line this trench remember we dug that we dug an 800 foot trench all by ourselves with a 55 horse mini excavator but we did it ourselves. We ran the two inch pipe ourselves and it has not froze. We've actually been down to, I think it was 17 degrees with it feels like a 12 and we still had flowing water. I'm very, very happy about that. What's up brother? You doing okay? How's that hay? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> so remember I was telling you we get a lot of runoff from that pasture over there? And it sits right here, and then just our side of that telephone pole, but over here, that's, my, that's how I know how to find it when it's not flowing. 
there is an underground spring that bubbles up from an aquifer but it's clearly not filled back up yet because there's no water running but to deal with the water issues i know there's a lot of information in this video but man you guys are so helpful i love just here's what i got going on because some of you guys have been doing this for 30 40 50 years before modern tools um and i don't mean like to age anything i'm just saying there's a lot of tools that you can do or have to accomplish some of these tasks, but some of you guys have simple, free, easy ways to accomplish things. So I like sharing. I like showing and talking about it and seeing if we can figure something out for much, much less than an hourly rate on a piece of equipment, right? This thing's holding up pretty good. This one that fell down over here, I haven't fixed it yet. I've still got the panels. I need to run and get some two by sixes. And then I think what I'm gonna do, remember I was worried about it being too crowded right here and I was gonna move one, but since we've got all that fescue down there and that rye that we planted and we really don't want the animals on it, I shouldn't say we don't want them on it, there's, there's nothing for them to get on. There's no nutrition down there, so if they get on it, they're just walking around. I'm gonna build this shelter back and put it right beside this one and attach it so it stays more firm. And that way, let's see, the back side of that one is straight west. We'll put another one right here, maybe even angle it, which would be north. So they'll both be facing the east-ish. So yeah, that should help it not. Doing okay, brother? Everybody's worried about you. I told him though, you're mooing and getting after it. Got your, got your appetite back for sure. Because even a couple of days after you saw Dr. Huff, you weren't eating real well, but... You're giving her the old full send now, man. A freshman at college with mom and dad's credit card money on their account. That wasn't me, I didn't do that. But you're looking healthy now, buddy. I'm super pleased, man. Super duper pleased. By the way, you guys know we're getting a new hay feeder from our friends at AeroQuip. And I'm super excited about it because I believe it's like six feet tall and you drop the bale in over the top. It's called the Guardian. And then the bale is actually suspended in the air there's a skirt around the bottom. They, they essentially can't waste as much hay. Right now, they just pull it out and it falls everywhere. And I'm just trying to conserve. We've got hay. I know I keep saying I've ordered more, I've ordered more, but we've got hay, we've got plenty. If I went and bought, if we went and bought five more cows, we've got plenty of hay. I can always get some, very, very blessed. And I'm not having to pay $100 a round bale either, I'm paying like 65 delivered. So appreciate you, Scotty. Anyway, let's go up here. I want to show you a way we can possibly manage the flow of water on the property but still make sure that our pond fills and you know we don't forfeit a bunch of water that that we get uh, so right here at the front of the property and i'm going to be real careful about addresses and stuff and our neighbors and if a hundred thousand people see this video i'm not worried about ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine of you even coming to my family Thanksgiving, okay? But somebody out there is crazy. And if you don't think it's you, it's probably you. But let me show you this. So here's our driveway. And that's not an old piece of culvert. That was actually the old can around the water meter. But the other day, a hole developed. Yep, there it is. That's frustrating. So I'm, I'm guessing there's a culvert yeah, there it is. There's a culvert right there and it's clogged and it's not really doing its job, if you will. But remember, we're going to, we're gonna take this fence that's right here and we're gonna move our whole fence to right here. It's about 16 feet off the road. The reason we're doing it is they may widen this at some point. I don't think it's any time in the near future, but I don't wanna build a fence here, especially one like this and then have to move it even five years from now. We're gonna bring the fence back, which means the water meter guy can check the meter reading, can read the meter without having to hop the fence. I thought about getting a mini X when we take this out and just digging this, just redoing it almost entirely. And if we do that, we'll do it over here too. It's about 330 feet both ways. I think it'll really help with the water on the property, especially this side. But I don't know. We'll see. Is that your nose? Yes. Is it? Yeah. Blowing it. Show us. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You're just making the noise. Blow it. I can make sound on my nose. Got a little chilly out there. We spent the Saturday hanging out with Ray at home and now everybody's home and we just decided to hang out and watch Christmas movies and pet puppies and all that good stuff, right? So y'all stick around. We got plenty coming. This Friday we got a field trip and we're gonna go get a new piece of equipment for the farm. You guys don't wanna miss that. That's three videos from now. So with that said, Your memory verse. For sure. God so up the world, He gave His only Son. John three sixteen. That a boy.